Welcome to the channel friends. So today's video is going to be a performance test video of the new 112 jet on my Honda HSS 1332 ATD. I have two other previous videos of me testing the stock 102 jet and also the other jets leading up to the 112 uh, with an AFR meter. So I got AFR readings off the exhaust to see which one has the perfect 14.7 ratio mixture, air fuel mixture, uh, to get the best possible results when running the engine. So the 112 jet took care of the surging issues I have and it gave me the best results uh, for my machine here uh, during the testing. So what I want to do today is put it through some paces with some super heavy wet snow. As you can see here, Last night it snowed a little bit and then this morning it rained. So this snow is super heavy saturated snow. This is uh, the snow that most people will be scared of snow blowing with their snow blower. But the Honda uh, will take it like a champ and throw it 60 feet plus. So I'm going to give it a test now with the new 112 jet and um, basically show you guys a performance video um, of it in action. What it sounds like and kind of uh, we'll, we'll work through the process and I'll chew on some of these really big kind of snow banks that are saturated with wet snow and see how the 112 jet does. With that being said guys, let me go ahead and show you a quick walk around the machine. I've done a few improvements and upgrades on the machine over the past years. Uh, the most recent being this custom made HDPE chute deflector that I made. If you don't know, I cut out the bottom factory collar, got that out of there, and replaced it with this really nice piece of kit right here and it works really really well keeps all the snow and discharge contained and it keeps it out of my face and keeps it off the machine so that works great so far really happy with that that is a custom piece I made it I came up with the design I've proven it out last year I made a Teflon version which was my first original design I've improved it so um, I want to put it through some more paces and show you it with some super heavy wet stuff here in southern New Hampshire. Now as I walk around the machine, it looks like a normal HSS, but I've added a few things here and there. So we have the Oxford heated grips. This is the Oxford Intelligent Heat Controller. I mounted it just below the key. Uh, what else did I do? Really not too much. The, the biggest thing is... The, the heated grips, which is a, a really good enhancement uh, for the machine. They do not come with heated grips for whatever reason. But I've done stuff like the uh, commercial grade skid shoes in the front, which Honda does not offer anymore. I had these from my previous Honda, which was an HS1332 TAS. Um, these are so heavy duty, they've lasted six to seven years plus, and they still have meat on them, if you can see. So I have some other skid shoes that I'm going to try out like the poly skids from Honda as well as the armor tech or armor skids I believe they're called they're much bigger I have those in the workshop and I'm going to go through and review them and test them out on my machine but some of the future upgrades I would like to uh, upgrade the uh, the coil for this machine which is a I think an, an amp and a quarter coil I want to get a three amp coil so it helps charge the battery for the grips um, the grips do pretty good, uh, but I think the, uh, the coil needs to be upgraded to really help with the charging. But I do keep it on a battery tender. Um, what else do I want to mention? I have some other kind of things I want to do with the machine. I want to come up with my own custom impeller system. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the Honda really does not need it, but there is a tiny bit of gap that I like to close and, and uh, tighten up between the housing and the impeller fin. That will help with launching snow and slush and stuff like that. Uh, and also, I have a design that I'm coming up with when it comes to preventing snow building up on the auger itself, the shaft. Alright, so before I get the machine started and warmed up, let's take a look at how saturated the snow is. Because I don't want anybody to say that this snow is not heavy or wet. I have puddles here from the rain this morning. This morning, the whole driveway was just slush. As you can see right here, this stuff is just wet as can be. 
and uh, the snow banks are all saturated. This is where I'll be testing the snow blower. I will be getting more snow in the next couple of days, so I wanted to do a test video before that with this super heavy snow condition uh, that I have today. So as you can see, big snow banks full of saturated snow. And I'm gonna give it a shot with the, the 112 jet and see how it performs and uh, just put it through the paces, guys. You know, this is just heavy, heavy stuff. Complete slush here. So I also plan on doing a uh, tachometer that's mounted on the machine. I bought something off of Amazon and I'll do a review and install on that. I plan on putting it next to the controller for the grips right here. So it's good to have a uh, tachometer on here because since I have the thing rejetted, I want to know what kind of what my RPMs are, what my uh, operating RPMs are um, when the machine is in, in use. And when it's chewing on snow, it's good to, to know kind of where it's dropping down to. So that's just kind of information I want to kind of keep track of for future videos. So I'll go ahead and install that tachometer soon. And uh, I'm planning on adjusting the, uh, the throttle speed. So when this isn't fast, I want to adjust that to bring it to the Honda spec. Maybe even a little bit more. We'll see. I'll decide uh, when the time comes. That's going to help with your impeller speed and uh, give you a little bit more power out of your motor as well. So, all right guys, so now let me go ahead and start the machine up, get it warmed up and uh, start putting it to the paces and uh, trying out the new 112 jet.